Hi everyone. Uh, I want to welcome you formally to the uh, introduction to Essentials and Supervision course. Um, and we are uh, in January uh, 2021, uh, we start the course. And uh, so this is an introductory video. As you can see, there's an empty classroom behind me and that's because we're missing you. Uh, sadly, uh, in the whole group room, although it wouldn't look quite as a standard, I prefer circular chairs myself. Um, but yes, just to indicate really that uh, uh, that you're in the right place um, on this. If you've managed to navigate so far to this channel, then hooray for that. Here you will find all the resources to the programme, which we'll post up week by week. I will also do a backup by email. Um, initially anyway, just to but once you get used to this, then hopefully you will be able to uh, take your course resources down from here. So. I want to also talk about the very first presentation, which I am going to share with you. Let us see now if I can. Uh, this one. Um, and here you can see there's a first presentation that I will be distributing around to you, Supervision 101. Uh, and that's quite a long uh, presentation just to get you into the overall uh, course. I'm not going to go through it slide by slide here. I'm just going to give you an overview of what it's about. So it gives you some definitions of supervision. It looks at some of the resistance to learning. I have a further video on that, which you'll also see later on in the program looks at the different types of supervision. Uh, it consolidates the rationale for supervision. People will often ask, oh, what's the reason for this navel gazing nonsense? Uh, and you need to have an answer right on the tip of your tongue for that. Um, reasons for reflection. Thinking space is often attacked in organizations. Organizations value doing highly. Why aren't you mopping the sweaty brow of that patient over there? Uh, what on earth are you doing sitting over in this corner here? talking and thinking um, and that can be quite a hard one uh, when we are talking about the health service life and death situations um, but yet of course the reflective element really takes the long-term view um, and we'll talk more about that uh, in the program itself also this um, uh, presentation talks about aspects of re resilience um, uh, Grant and Kinman um, uh, did some quite interesting work for social workers, which I think apply just as much to nurses. Uh, and you'll see some of that discussed in this presentation. Um, and the beginnings of the supervisory relationship and a person centred approach is also covered. I want us to be quite sceptical, really, of the idea that uh, you know, people should be emotionally resilient and they that way that kind of supports the sort of coping uh, idea, you know, that everyone should cope. And if only you manage yourself better, then, of course, you'll be able to cope better. Now, th there's a partial truth in that um, and supervision will certainly augment and strengthen your emotional resilience, at least if you engage with it, it will. Um, but there's another side to that argument, which is around uh, systemic um, uh, things that are wrong with the system in itself that sometimes individuals get blamed for. So things that are bigger than them. Um, and we'll look at the idea of um, burnout on the one hand versus moral injury on the other. Um, so the idea of individuals breaking down in the system, that they're overwhelmed, it's just too much. Um, and the idea of the, the, system, the systemic um, uh, problems that contribute to the individual uh, going through difficulties, uh, particularly in services like um, health, where sometimes we're forced to make decisions that we really don't want to make through um, uh, resource limitations, for example. So this is that's the summary of the presentation. You can read it further and um, 
we we will I will stop there for now. How how long was I going on for there? Hang on. Stop recording.